is going to be 8.3, identify function transformations. It's going to be a combination of 8.1 and 8.2. Okay, so uh, main thing to know here is we're going to be looking at a graph such like this uh, where I'm going to decide how it's changed, whether uh, it is a shift up or down or left to right, or if it's a uh, if it's scaled vertically or horizontally. Okay, and the way you can kind of write this out is like this, right? So I'm taking any f of x, and I'm either going to change one thing about it in this section, right? Normally, you can change multiple things, but in this section, you're only going to see one change at a time, right? So either I'm going to change outside the f uh, of x or inside uh, next to x, right? Those two uh, control either vertical scaling or horizontal scaling, okay? Uh, notice, I put a little note next to these two. The shape will change if uh, that is the case. Okay, so whatever shape the graph might be, it will either be compressed or stretched or something like that. Uh, it won't be the same shape. Now, on the other hand, if you shift either horizontally uh, or vertically, okay, left or right or up or down, the shape will not change. You'll have the same exact graph. It'll just move up, down, left or right. Okay, so we'll get to that in a little bit. All right, so uh, let's look at this first example here. Okay, so uh, example one, there's going to be four examples. This is the first example. Uh, I have my original graph in black here. This is f of x. Okay, uh, so I want to compare this green graph, this g of x, to what it is. So uh, the first thing I do when I do these problems is I say, is the shape the same? Is the shape the same, right? And this is steeper here, right? It gets changed uh, in the steepness, right? So the shape isn't the same. So I know that it's either going to be a vertical uh, vertical scale or a horizontal scale, right? In this case, I can see that uh, if I look right here, this is moved vertically. This point is moved vertically, right? So I know it's going to be a vertical scale. So when I go through my multiple choice answers, right, two of them I can cross out right away, okay? I know I can cross out my horizontal scale ones. So horizontal scale ones are is when the number is inside next to x. So I know it's not going to be that. I know it's not going to be that. Okay. So the question is, is it 2 times f of x or 1 half times f of x? Okay. With vertical scale, uh, you just see the original is doubled, right? So with vertical, it's just pretty much straightforward. Okay. This will be 2 times f of x. So this would be a. Right? Because Every point is double. 2 turns into 4. 0 is still 0. Uh, 2 turns into 4. 1 turns into 2. Negative 2 turns into negative 4. And so on, right? So everything's doubled. When it's vertical, it's very straightforward. Okay? Let's take a look at example 2 now. Okay? So example 2, if you want to pause and get this down in your notes, uh, we're looking at uh, this original f of x compared to this blue g of x. Okay, it's a little hard to see if it's blue or from your side of things, but it's blue, trust me. Okay, uh, so uh, this time we introduce a negative, all right? Uh, is it the same shape? No, it's not the same shape. I know it's going to be either vertical or horizontal uh, scaling, okay? So in this case, I can tell this is just kind of flipped that way. So I know this is going to be a horizontal scale, okay? I know it's going to be negative. All the options are negative, right? Because if this is one out, this gets reflected to negative three. So it's negative three times as much. Now, with horizontal uh, scaling, it's difficult. And a lot of people will get some of this wrong. Uh, first of all, we can cross out answers, right? So I know it's not going to be a vertical scale. I can get rid of this and get rid of this. It'll be a horizontal scale, right? So. The question is, is it negative 3x or negative 1 third x? You have to remember when it's inside the parentheses, whether it's talking about scaling or movement left or right, when it's inside the parentheses, it's always opposite of typical. Okay, so I can see this point lines up with this point, right? So this is one away, this is three away. So it's three times as much. I have to remember that. I'm going to use the reciprocal for this. So instead of 3 over 1, it's going to be 1 third. I'm going to use fractions. If it was 5 times as much, it would be 1 fifth. Okay? If it shrunk, if it got uh, 1 
half as much. Okay, I would have to change that into two in the parentheses. Okay, so make sure that you know when it's horizontal scaling, uh, it's going to be reversed there. So even though it's three times as big, it's one third there. So D would be your answer here. Okay, moving on to example three. Okay, uh, here, I got my original f of x, got my new g of x. First thing I ask myself, is the shape the same? Yeah, it's the same, right? There's no difference, anything. I can see everything's just kind of shifted, right? This goes up, one, two, three, four. This goes up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I know there's a shift vertically of four, okay? So I know it's not going to be this one. That's a horizontal shift. It's not going to be that one. It's a horizontal shift. Vertical shift is controlled by the outside number. So you see that f of x plus 4, f of x minus 4. Don't get confused because sometimes they'll just put a dotted line. You'll be like, oh, that's 4 less, so minus 4. Make sure you understand what's the original, what's the new one. So this is going to go up 4 everywhere. So C would be your answer. Okay. Make sure you don't make the mistake of saying, well, everything's down 4. Know that this is your original, and from here, everything gets moved up 4. That applies to the first two examples as well, as well as the last example I'll see right now. Okay, last example on a little board. Okay, uh, I have my original f of x, I have my new g of x. Same exact shape, right? So this is going to be, I can tell already, a horizontal shift. Okay, horizontal shift means I know it's not going to be either of these vertical shift answers. Gone, gone. So it's either A or B. All right, now. Same thing with example two. When it's inside the parentheses, I have to think opposite. So I look at this point. I can pick any point, really. I look at this point. I know to get to this point, it got, has to go over one, two, three to the right. It moves positive three over, right? But remember, if it's inside the parentheses, if it's either talking about shifting or scaling, if it's inside the parentheses, think opposite. So if it's positive three to the right, I have to think negative three in uh, my answer, okay? Same thing if it was going to go left. If it's left, you think negative usually. It's going to be positive inside the parentheses, okay? So think opposite there. Again, this is kind of just a review or a combination of 8.1 and 8.2. Uh, so it shouldn't be anything too new for you guys. Uh, it's just kind of putting it all together, okay? Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Other than that, uh, you guys should be good to go. Okay, that was 8.3, Identify Function uh, Transformations.